You saw it first live right here on Local 10. The SWAT team responding today to the home of Stoneman Douglas School shooting survivor David Hogg. And right now we want to take you to some live pictures in Washington, D.C. And that's where David Hogg is right now where he will be accepting an award. Now that call came in claiming a hostage situation, but turns out the whole thing was a hoax. This is being called a swatting incident, and we just spoke with David Hogg all about it. Local 10 News reporter Carlos Suarez starts things off. Our team coverage, he is live in Parkland. Carlos. Hogg, who is in Washington, D.C., spoke to Local 10 News by phone. He said he got word about what was happening outside of his home because a friend called him and said that the sheriff's office was outside responding to reports of a man armed inside his house with a hostage. The sheriff's office swarmed the Aaron Bay community in Parkland where David Hogg and his family live. The initial call went out as a man armed inside the family home. On the phone with the caller, so we don't have, make sure we don't have a spotting call here. Okay. Apparently the caller is the suspect, and he is the one armed with the AR-15. He broke into the home, he has an AR-15, but he just felt like breaking in and take money. Hogg, who's in Washington, D.C. with his mother to receive an award, talked with Local 10's Leanne Morejon by phone where he dismissed the incident. I think it's merely a distraction from what we're trying to fix here, which is the massive gun violence epidemic in this country. The way we're trying to fix that is with the March for Our Lives Road to Change, which we announced yesterday. The sheriff's office said a search of the house off Coral Ridge Drive just north of Stoneman Douglas turned up nothing. The call was nothing but a prank. In the months since the massacre, Hogg has been one of the more prominent MSD students in the Never Again movement and a vocal critic of gun laws in the U.S., a position that's made him a target on social media, and now it appears at home. It's evidence of the fact of how many people are trying to stop us from what we're trying to do, which is stop these kids from dying. It's people trying to distract from what we're trying to push here, which is the march for our lives for it to change. And I want people to know, like, we're, we're just trying to advocate for change. There's going to be people that stand in our way and always will be. But we're going to keep going no matter what. Nothing will stop us. Again, uh, these are live pictures out of Washington, D.C., where Hogg is expected to receive an award from the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Group. He's expected to be honored alongside uh, civil rights leader Congressman John Lewis, and he's also going to uh, be presented uh, the award by Ethel Kennedy. Again, Hogg and his uh, mother are both in Washington, D.C. to receive this award. Coming back out live here, it is still unclear just where this call was made from. But again, a short time after deputies responded to this home and they searched the premises, they gave the all clear. There was no one inside of David Hogg's home. We're live in Parkland this noon. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News. All right, Carlos, thank you so much. And as we have said, of course, you, know, you might imagine this whole incident put the neighbors there on edge. And Local 10 News reporter Alex Finney is live with reaction from those living in the area. Alex. Hi guys, yeah, it was a really chaotic scene here earlier. As a matter of fact, a woman that I spoke with said this morning, law enforcement actually running through her home, of course, because of that phone call that came in. Now, I do want to point out, we're not able to get through the gate. Security is not letting us in at this time. But going to video now, you can see there just the steady stream of officers that we saw coming in and out of this neighborhood here in Heron Bay. I want you to take a listen, though, to what some residents did have to tell me as they were coming out of this neighborhood. We caught up with them about the entire situation. Oh, what's going on here? So today we're walking, we're going for a walk, and we saw some helicopters here around us. So, we, oh my God, what's going on? We, yeah. we are still trying to overcome everything because everything is very difficult, yeah. But that episode makes us feel more uh, attentive. Two police cars, two motorcycles. We should be doing better. Something like this shouldn't happen a lot. All right, you just heard from Courtney there. He was describing what he saw. Sky 10 now over the scene. This was a hoax, but again, nothing to take lightly. Courtney, who you just heard from, uh, is a student at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. He said there's still this sense of fear in Parkland and in this neighborhood where David Hogg lives. Now, again, that call coming in early this morning of that hostage situation involving an AR-15. We do know at this time it was a hoax, but we are going to continue to stay on top of this for you because definitely a serious situation that has not been taken lightly out here in Parkland today. Coming to you live from Parkland, Alex Finney, Local 10 News.